What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Western Wednesdays, where we get straight to the point. But first, the shoe that we're going to take a closer look at is the All Birds Tree Dasher Running Shoe. They're a company based out of New Zealand, but everything in their store is made from natural resources, natural materials. Really cool, and the shoe is beautiful and it's comfortable. So with that being said, let's get into this thing, okay? Starting with the traction, the traction pattern, obviously, as you can see, it is a running shoe. So the outsole cushion setup is all one entire unit, okay? The only thing that's different on the bottom is they have these pads or pod areas where they've used rubber, and that's to provide a little bit of dur durability, but some traction as you're running uh, and using these shoes so it doesn't tear up the outsole on the cushion. In this little area here on the toe box and then the heel, you have this red, what they're calling a flame color, uh, and it's gonna be durable. The rubber's nice and hard, okay, but there is some flexibility in there, which is nice, so you're gonna have a shoe that's gonna last a little bit longer right there, but it also gives you that nice little traction and tackiness that you need when your foot is hitting the ground. So. The other part is still the same traction pattern, but it is the outsole and the cushion setup there. Now, I don't know exactly what the rubber, or sorry, not what the rubber, what the foam that they've used, but it's really nice. It's very flexible, okay? So you can, you know, you can twist and move and, and all the types of sorts. I'm trying to uh, compare it to some other maybe cushions that you guys are familiar with. Uh, Nike, maybe React, uh, and then maybe Boost from Adidas. Uh, underfoot, it definitely feels that responsive. Um, which is really nice. The design aspect of the outsole and the cushion setup is really cool too. With running shoes, you normally don't have the structure on the upper to provide the stability, where they've provided it within the outrigger and the design of the outsole, okay? So what I mean by that is they've kind of con contoured the outsole beyond where your foot would sit to provide for the stability when your foot is in the shoe, okay? So it's just, just think of it as a little bit bigger uh, area underneath foot to where you can't roll your ankle as much. Now, they've also provided a nice contour and extra outrigger on the heel to provide for the rolling aspect from heel to toe or whatever transitions you are using when you're running the shoe. The colorway is almost, uh, my wife said salmon, it's definitely there's salmon in there, some flame, this almost looks brown tannish, okay, but it's a really cool combination and subtle, simple. Uh, that's one of their mottos is keeping it simple um, and they've definitely done this and made it really functional and beautiful. Now as we move on up to the upper, as you can tell maybe in the screen, it's very, exclusively knit okay i love knit knitted shoes uh it can be running shoes training shoes that it doesn't matter any type of shoes that have knit in them i'm a huge fan of just because of the immediate break in lack thereof or whatever you want to call it you can get your foot in there and run and use with these shoes immediately there's definitely reinforced knit what i mean by that there's just extra uh layers um alongside the lateral lateral and medial side all alongside to where the the upper attaches with the the cushion there isn't as much reinforced knit along the toe box and then as you move on up underneath the laces there are laces that red flame with white uh thread through there round laces they're going to be nice obviously they're functional and then their eyelids are these plastic eyelids they're round okay but you have this stitching alongside the bottom of the eyelids that attaches to the knit. So these things are gonna be really secure, they're not gonna come off, they're not gonna tear, uh, and it's attached to that knit. As far as the branding's concerned, their logos, they put all birds, the logo written out on the heel, okay? And then you have the little heel tab, it's not really a tab, but it's almost like a little leather with their uh, all birds logo on that as well. The insole's removable, I really do wanna to touch on that. So if you do want it to take out and put some of your insoles in there, you can do that as well. Uh, but this is very, very nice, made with Castor, castor bean oil. Inside the shoe, okay, the, the liner, it's, it's a wool liner. Now, if you do some research on Allbirds, uh, they're based out of New Zealand, and, and that's kind of where their company came from, using this Merlin wool to make a lot of their products, okay? But they've done a really good job, and I really do like that feature, along with this padded area on the heel, the Achilles area. Uh, it just makes for a really nice shoe on the inside. They really haven't skipped a step, in my opinion, as far as uh, what they've provided within these shoes. And these tree dashers, I think, come in at about 110. 
right now I think they're on sale maybe, or actually not 110, they may come out for a little bit more, but they may be on sale for 110. So really cool shoe, definitely try them out, but they do have other products as well. Really, really beautiful. So just click my link for a free pair of socks with your purchase of shoes or apparel. Um, the offer will automatically be applied at checkout if socks are added to your cart. You won't find this deal anywhere else, so be sure to, be sure to check it out. Definitely take advantage of that. Go through, check out the apparel, the shoes, everything. Like I said, there's something in there for you, I promise. I don't normally do this, but when I do, I shoe review. All birds, check them out. Peace.